Welcome to SafeWork SA's Toolbox series on avoiding utility strikes. This series is all about avoiding utility strikes while digging or working near overhead power lines. This is the fourth episode, Working Near Overhead Power Lines. This toolbox outlines the safe approach limits for people and minimum safe clearance distances for machinery when working near overhead power lines. Before starting work, careful planning and preparation is essential to ensure work is done safely. There are many hazards associated with working near overhead power lines, including electrical lead-in to your property. Electricity can be extremely dangerous and can flash over a gap. Working near is where there is a reasonable possibility of coming within an unsafe distance to a power line. A person or piece of machinery can be some distance from a power line and still be in danger. There is a real risk that a person can be electrocuted directly or through objects being held. Working near overhead power lines can introduce many high-risk construction work activities. Power lines swing in wind and sag due to heat. This movement must be allowed for in any safe clearance distance. A documented safe work method statement will need to be developed for those activities identifying site-specific hazards and the appropriate risk controls. The SWIMS must also describe how the control measures are to be implemented, monitored and reviewed and should include what actions are required in the event contact is made. The prescribed safe clearance distances are covered by law and must be adhered to at all times. Any breach of these distances can result in severe injuries and even death. Safe clearance distances differ for people, machinery and structures. There are safe approach limits that must be maintained by people working near power lines. Prescribed distances are dependent on the voltage of the power line. Low voltage is anything under 1000 volts and high voltage is anything over 1000 volts. Ensure the voltage is correctly identified. The minimum safe approach limit is measured from the closest power line to the closest part of the person. This includes clothing worn or tools being held. For example, working near a 240 volt power line, a person's approach limit, including an object held, can be no closer than 3 meters. If you need to work closer than 3 meters, then a swims will need to be implemented. As the diagram shows, you can work as close as 1 meter to a power line as long as the movement of tools, materials and structures are taken into account. Remember, the higher the voltage, the greater the approach limits. Safe operating distances from power lines are different again for machinery, such as cranes, excavators or elevating work platforms. Safe clearance distances depend on whether the work is done with or without a person spotting the activity. No machinery must come within 6.4 metres of a stobie pole or 10 metres from a tower without a spotter and additional control measures. Again, as with people, safe clearance distances depend on the voltage of the power line. For example, for an 11 kV power line with a spotter in place, you can work between 6.4 metres and 3 metres to a power line. If you need to work machinery closer than minimum safe clearance distances, contact the technical regulator for advice on authorizations required. A SWIMS will also need to be implemented based on a risk assessment and any advice given. The minimum safe clearance distance to power lines is measured from the part of the machinery, including its load, that is closest to the power line wire. To work to the prescribed distances, you must be able to show that you have allowed for any likely movement of both the power line and the machinery, including operator error. The safe clearance distances are absolute and cannot be breached at any time. Any breach of the clearance puts you and others in immediate danger of electric shock. So, to recap, in order to operate machinery to minimum safe clearance distances, you are required by law to meet the following safety requirements. Identify the line voltage. Determine if it's high or low. High voltage power lines are those of more than 1000 volts of electricity. Complete a documented SWIMS based on a risk assessment. If you need to work closer than minimum safe clearance distances, seek authorization and confirm with SA Power Networks before commencing and comply with any conditions specified by SA Power Networks or the technical regulator. Get a spotter to carry out spotting duties at all times. A spotter must be a competent person qualified by experience, training or both. 
Their sole duty is to observe and warn against unsafe machinery distance from power lines, including the lifting attachments and the load. The spotter must have clear line of sight and be able to communicate with the operator effectively. It is important that a spotter does not undertake other tasks while spotting. Consider visibility of power lines when undertaking your risk assessment. Tiger tails are visual indicators that can only be used on low voltage lines. They don't insulate lines, as some might think. They help operators of machinery and workers identify distance and perspective of the line. When working, operating machinery or erecting scaffolds near overhead power lines, it is recommended that you contact SA Power Networks to install tiger tails on the closest low voltage lines. When using tiger tails on power lines, you must still maintain legal clearance distances at all times. If the safe clearance distance cannot be maintained, you will need to apply for a network access permit from SA Power Networks. On receipt of the network access permit, you will need to sign and retain it until your operation is completed. The permit will ensure the power lines will be controlled in an isolated or protected state until the permit is returned. The permit has conditions that must be clearly understood before you sign it. So, in summary, remember, electricity can be extremely dangerous. Any breach of legal safe clearance distances with power lines can result in severe injuries and even death. Builders, contractors and workers are reminded to identify any overhead power lines that will be a hazard and reduce the risks, so far as is reasonably practicable. Maintain legal safe clearances to overhead power lines. Complete a documented safe work method statement based on a risk assessment. Use a spotter if operating machinery. And if a permit to isolate electricity or place it in a protected state is issued, comply with all the permit's requirements. Additional information on minimum safe clearance distances to structures, including scaffolds, is covered in Toolbox 5 of the series. For more information on workplace safety, visit safework.sa.gov.au or call us on 1300 365 255.